out. So hopefully we're going to see him come back swinging here as he is a fiery, fiery rider and just oozing with that style. He's got it. We love to see it. That nose butter three above the exposure. So impressive. And now Finn right off the heart of the Hoysel Cliff. And seemingly training that run. He's used to the two run format coming from FAS Freestyle. So really just working it and perfecting. Wow. Cork seven downside and perfectly landing that extra little bit of rotation required. That was so good. 360 now here into the transition. A little bit sat down, but a clean ish landing there on that one for Finn Billis. Incredible stuff from Finn, and he is not done yet. Purring his way through to the next section. So lining up for this long and low here as he comes in with a whole tank of speed. Finn Billis is going to send it all the way to the bottom of that one. And now just trying to hold on through this rough stuff. Committing to the fall line. Oh, poor Finn Billis. <laughs> what a straight line. Stopping our hearts there for a moment. <laughs> Uh, that is not the speed you want to be going and lose control in that section. Jamesa Hampton was going half that speed and he got absolutely rocked. Finn Billick now buttering around to switch. Finn Billis absolutely doing what we wanted him to do, showing his style and just putting his paint strokes on this Viltzy Loader face. Yeah, awesome to see him bringing some serious freestyle maneuvers in. I'm sure the Billis family are going absolutely bananas in New Zealand right now, cheering him on. And he is thankful to have made it to the bottom, I would say. Yeah, really exciting run there for Finn. There's Craig Murray, our co-host from earlier in the finish area to give Finn a big hug. So downside, catching the blunt grab on the tail and then the extra rotation so he doesn't land side hill but actually lands facing down. That is the sign of a veteran in the freestyle world. He got a little sat down there. I'm not sure if that was a bomb hole or if it was just a touch flat. Yeah, we see a little duck on control, but air style technique and fluidity are all jacked. So I think we're gonna see a pretty decent score for Finn today. I think so. He went so far off that wind lift too. I mean, far enough to get the course seven with the grab and hold onto it the whole way around. That was just absolutely exciting. <laughs> Finn Billis bringing the mustache into the finish area. Fun. Nice shampoo commercial hair yeah, toss well, as we wait for the score. Max sick. still holding it down in the hot seat, but Finn has done his work for the day. The work is done, and now it's time for a cool, refreshing beverage. Taking a knee. I think it's pretty exhausting stuff out there. The judges are looking intently at their sheets. Can we see any arguments break out over scores yet? What's up, Hank? What's up, Mum, Dad, Mads, Hunter? What's up, Flawson? All the crew back home. Hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> we are. We are enjoying it, Finn. <laughs> enjoying the heck out of it. From our spot, absolutely fantastic to have Finn in the mix here, the Freeride World Tour. He was so fired up last night to just be here with the... Uh, with the FWT family and having an absolute blast. He said he felt really honored to just be included. <laughs> he's, he's so tired. <laughs> he's just sitting down, taking the hobo stance there as he just sits in the middle of the floor and uh, waits for the score. At least it's not tiring anymore now that he's down. Just taking a wee nap there on the Vibram mat. Yeah, there's a Yeah, I think we, we can't underestimate how tiring it is for these riders to do two of those runs because not only the, the physical aspect, but it takes a mental toll uh, having to jack yourself back up and getting your headspace right to go again. So when you're, and then once you're mentally exhausted, that is really draining on your body. And you, we're seeing it here firsthand from Finn. He is absolutely crushed. Someone get that man a pillow, maybe a duvet. Well, we're going to wait for the scores to come in. Finn, just eyes on the screen, waiting to see what the judges are going to do. They're taking their time, as that was the last man in the ski men's category. So this this uh, this ranking is going to be the final piece of the puzzle in the ski men's. And let's see, 85 points. So Finn moving himself into sixth place with 